Hey guys, Marcus speaking, and in this screencast I'm going to show you the GeoLayers toolbar that you can find right underneath the map comp bar. So, I prepared a little project for you, so I'm going to open it up here. There we go. And in this project we have a little zoom to Germany and Berlin pops up. Um, if you open a project and you want to connect to the map comes that are containing in there, um, just open the drop down and GeoLayers will search the whole project for every map come. And I'm going to find the Germany map come right here. And you can see that it is already finalized. The style is uh, Thunder Forest Mobile Atlas, by the way. But we're going to talk about the toolbar. So, what do we have here? First thing, this is snap marker to map comp. I have some layers prepared in this project, so there is my marker layer, this little funny guy. And um, yeah, what that button does, let's say I'm gonna zoom in, and I don't wanna have like the label, I just wanna have that marker here, so I switch off this label and when a layer is selected, you can click this button and GeoLayers will snap it to the map comp. Right now, this layer is always pointing to Berlin. So, what do we have else? I've got an overlay right here. Uh, pretty cool, because the next button in the toolbar is Snap Overlay to Map Comp. Also, when I have selected the layer, I can click this and GeoLayers will snap it as an overlay to the map comp. That means that it's going to be scaled with the map, like that. On markers and overlays, you find some effect controls. So there's a latitude, longitude and height. This is pretty much, um, yeah, the geo position where this marker sits. And there's a checkbox, scale with map or don't. So for markers, this is not checked by default and for overlays this is checked by default. The third button in the toolbar is a northeast southwest overlay. It's pretty much the same as the overlay but it has two 3D points that represent the northeast and the southwest corner of the layer. With the fourth button you can directly draw geospatial files to your map comp. Um, before I click this, um, I'm going to explain you this. This is the current style selector. You can select the style in which the features are drawn. You're going to learn more about this in a separate tutorial. How to like create them, add them and manage them. For now I just want to have like the white with the gray border. And then I click this button, select my file, click OK and GeoLayers will draw this. There we go. That's the different parts of Germany that have just been drawn onto a shape layer right here. And now the last thing. Um, we had a label here. It was Berlin. Yes, right. There it is. And um, the drop down right here is uh, the label selector. Each GeoLayers 2 project can have a bunch of labels, they're fully customizable, but you will also learn to how to create and manage them in a separate tutorial. Right now I'm just going to show you one function, and this is the swap label template, which is this little button right here. So if you have selected a label on the map comp that is selected right here, you can just select the label template and click the swap label template button, and the label is swapped see it right there. So I can put it on top or I can put it on bottom or left. Looks best I guess. We implemented a brand new feature to the toolbar which is this button over here and with this guy you can add a manual label to the center of your current view. So by clicking this I can just type in a name, hit add label and it will add it to the center of my view. A cool new feature in GeoLayers 2 allows you to swap feature styles on already drawn feature. Therefore, select your shape layer, 
select the new style you want to apply and click the swap feature style button. Cool thing about this, you can also swap styles of custom shape layers you've drawn. Alright, now you can snap labels to your map comp, swap label templates and draw geospatial files directly to your map in a certain style. That's it, have a great day, bye!